Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk-in tutoring five days a week. This video, we are going to review Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. In a gas mixture, each gas exerts its partial pressure, which is the pressure it would exert if it were the only gas in the container. Dalton's Law states that the total pressure of a gas mixture is the sum of the partial pressures of the gases in the mixture. On the slide, that uh, that's represented by this P total uh, equation is equal to P1, P2, P3, depending on, you know, four or five, all depends how many gases you have in your container. And so uh, just to do a quick example, uh, we have up here, say you have a container that has oxygen, nitrogen, and helium in it. So you'll be given, you know, the partial pressure of oxygen in this container is 20 atmospheres. What that's representing is that the oxygen molecules in here are hitting, you have enough oxygen molecules that they hit the container at a certain frequency and that exerts about 20 atmospheres. But also in here you have nitrogen molecules and you have enough of those, um, essentially more, and that uh, those collisions with the walls are exerting a pressure of 40 atmospheres. And then finally you also have a bunch of helium in this container. And there's enough helium that their collisions with the walls are exerting 140 atmospheres. So if you have this container with these uh, three gases in it at these levels, the total pressure that this container is experiencing, which is the total amount of collisions and forces uh, on the walls of the container, is just going to be the sum of those pressures. So 20 atmospheres plus 40 atmospheres from the nitrogen and then the 140 atmospheres from the helium. And so your total here, if you add these up, is 200 atmospheres. So very simply, um, you know, Dalton's law just says uh, each of the uh, molecules or elements here um, exert their own pressure on the container and you just sum those pressures together to get your total pressure. This is as uh, far as we get uh, with this law for our introductory chem course of uh, Chem 106 and 105. I'm going to do another example now for those at the higher level courses like Chem 108 or 111 um, just to show how we go a little bit further with uh, that problem. So let's take a look at this problem here. Mixtures of helium and oxygen are used in the air tanks of underwater divers for deep dives. For a particular dive, 12 liters of oxygen at 25 degrees C in one atmosphere and 46 liters of helium at 25 degrees C in one atmosphere were both pumped into a 5 liter tank. Calculate the partial pressure of each gas and the total pressure in the tank at 25 degrees C. So I represented here the um, different quantities in the tanks um, in this problem. First tank or, or volume here, this is your oxygen. Uh, as I said, we have 25, uh, sorry, 12 liters of oxygen. It's at 25 degrees C and one atmosphere of pressure. So you take that volume of gas and you're going to combine it with helium, the helium, you have 46 liters of gas. It's also at 25 degrees C and at one atmosphere. And you're taking those two gases, putting them into um, a combined tank here. So this tank is going to have oxygen and helium. It's five liters is the volume. Uh, you're at 25 degrees C again. So the temperature has been constant. And they're asking you now for the partial pressure of each gas in this tank and also the total pressure is what you're looking for. Now to solve this problem, we're going to use the ideal gas law, P 
PV equals nRT. First, what we need to do uh, in order to uh, solve this problem is we need to look at uh, the number of moles that we have of each of these gases. And if you notice for the tanks on the left, the oxygen and the helium, we know the volume, the temperature, and the pressure. And so you can now calculate the moles. And uh, you would take the ideal gas law, convert it over to uh, number of moles is going to be PV over RT. And so if you do that in the first tank, you have 12 liters, 25 degrees C in one atmosphere. Number of moles of oxygen you have in this tank is going to be 0 0.49. And then similarly in the helium tank, uh, we use the same equation. You're going to get the number of moles of helium that you're going to transfer over is 1.9 moles. Now that we know the moles, um, we can look at our 5 liter tank and we can calculate the partial pressures of each uh, gas that it exerts in that tank. And we use the ideal gas law again, only now we're solving for pressure. And that's going to be the moles times RT over the volume. And what we'll do is introduce each one at a time uh, on the moles. So our P of oxygen is going to use the moles of oxygen times R, T, and V. And you'll see if you calculate that, you'll get 2.4 atmospheres. So the oxygen is exerting 2.4 atmospheres in this tank. If you then solve the equation using the helium number of moles, you're going to see that this works out to 9.3 atmospheres. So in this tank, you have 2.4 atmospheres of oxygen uh, pressure and 9.3 atmospheres exerted by the helium. So your total your p total is just the sum of these two and you'll see that's 11.7 atmospheres so your partial pressures are 2.4 and 9.3 and the overall t pressure in this tank is going to be 11.7 atmospheres and that's a typical way that you'll see um, a dalton laws problem done in the uh, higher level chemistry courses thank you